Today on Tight Loops, Tight Lines, we head far north to remote Tisuiak Lake in Labrador, looking for Arctic char. We've been fishing at Flowers River Lodge for the past week, surrounded by the wilderness of central Labrador. We've seen some incredible landscape, hooked some fantastic Atlantic salmon, and had an amazing time. But today, we're off on a new adventure. Our destination today is Tisuiak Lake, Labrador, further north than either Castine or I have ever been, and we're really excited. We're going to be fishing for some of the big Arctic char that can be found in northern Labrador. And here comes our ride. We're lucky to have Jim Burton taking us north today. Jim is the previous owner of Flowers River Lodge and has been flying in Labrador for over 40 years. If there's anyone who can take us somewhere incredible to fish, it's going to be Jim. My name is Jim, Jim Burton, and uh, I'm the very lucky pilot to be here today flying this beautiful de Havilland Beaver float plane. All right, well, we'll get this baby opened and uh, we'll get some uh, ab gas on the beaver and then we'll start up and and take you up to Suyak Lake, where we're going to have some fun. Can't wait. Yeah, very, very pretty up there. I can't wait. It's one see of my it. most favorite places on the planet. I'm excited to see it, Jim. Okay. Yeah. The couple we're going now is probably among the largest char in Labrador. They range uh, anywhere from probably six pounds to 20 pounds. Really? Yeah. So we're going to walk down a brook, and we're going to fish the brook, the, the stream that goes from the Suyak Lake to Lower Lake. We'll probably climb up to uh, around 3,500 feet today. We may go a little higher. The winds are kind of laid a lot up this way. And uh, we'll be about an hour, 10 minutes. The flight north to Tsuyak Lake was one of the most incredible experiences of my life. From up here, it's easy to see why they call Labrador the big land. The landscape is rugged, huge, and wildly beautiful. It's incredibly isolated up here with no permanent settlements around for miles and miles. After an hour long flight, we touched down onto Suyak Lake and began to head downstream in search of Arctic char. Found some goose feathers on the, along the beach as we were walking down here. And I'm gonna take them back and we're gonna use them to tie up some, probably some muddlers for our fall fishing, which will be it's kind of exciting to find something out in nature and then use that to, to catch fish. We're lucky. It is a beautiful sunny day here. A little bit of a breeze and I thought that the breeze would be enough to keep the black flies away, but it is not. You might need like gale force winds to keep them away. So we're all got our um, bug shirts on, original bug jackets and just keeping them zipped up. This is as much as you'll see of my face <laughs> for the rest of the day. <laughs> the river is crystal clear water. It's so beautiful. The mountains around here are absolutely spectacular. I have never been this far north before. Um, this is it. <laughs> this is northern Castine. Uh, and we're, uh, we're, look we're actually looking for Arctic char. So that's going to depend on whether or not they're here yet. Apparently it was an early run this year, but we're hoping to 
there's still some around. So I know there's a couple of landlocked salmon here in the river, so we might be lucky enough to get one of those as well. I'm going in. <laughs> We're here. We make our way downstream and haven't seen many fish. We're starting to wonder if we've missed the run altogether. Beautiful water, beautiful color, but except for a few small landlocks, there's not much life. The char all came a bit early this year, so maybe they're already up in the lake. However, it wasn't long before. Yeah, probably ready now. Nice, beautiful. Cool. I'll hold it, because it takes a bit to hold it. What a beautiful char. What a beauty. Yeah, yeah, it's so nice. Just on a streamer. At least we found something. The backs are so different than the salmon. They're like, I guess the watercolor here is so yeah. light that they are just like, um, they're even different than the char you're getting up in that flower. Yeah. Water's so cold here. I mean, ideal for catch and release. What a beautiful fish. Look how full of life he is. That's a nice size char. Oh, that was great. Good, Good job. job. Let's see if we can find some more. We don't have much time. I think I'm going to need a streamer. <laughs> <laughs> Terry and I are fishing at the incredibly remote Tisuiak Lake today in northern Labrador, Canada. We're surrounded by the Torngat Mountains and the water in the river is crystal clear. Jim Burton, our pilot for the day, has been flying in Labrador for over 40 years and it's an incredible pleasure to have him along. This river is so isolated. I start to wonder if anyone else has even fished here this year. It's not too long before Terry hooks another fish and we wade back to quieter water to bring it in. So cool because we could watch him leave the bottom and come up. Job. Not as big as the first one, but respectable. So it's so nice these fish. I, I can't believe it. Look how pretty that is. It was so nice to watch him come up and take. It's awesome. So cool. Clear water is so much fun. <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah. It's like it's actually going to be hard to go back to casting and just not seeing anything. Darkness. OK. 
Okay, that's time when, to change the fly. That's when your moments of hope increase every time. I think you should leave that one off. I need it. No, <laughs> no way. Oh, you're not even giving I, me my rod. No, I need the secret weapon, please. Well, I'll give you a different color. How about that? I don't even know. What do you think? Okay, I'll give you the same color. I'm going to let you do it because I don't want to take down my mask. <laughs> this flies will get me. That is too funny. So this is a red one. It'd be interesting to see if... Red and purple. If there's any more, like, because there's not a lot of fish around. I think most of them are gone up. But it will be interesting to see if, if a different color might attract a different fish. Okay, mm -hmm. let's buddy wade out again. When you're okay. wading in deep water, it's always good if, if you've got someone with you to just grab each other's belts and kind of buddy wade. It's a lot more stable. The weaker person is usually downriver. I'm not sure what that says about me right now. <laughs> <laughs> I might stand right up here. I am making these casts and I'm presenting on my back cast. What's happening is that the wind is blowing into my casting shoulder, so it's kind of coming back into my body and it's a little bit dangerous, especially where I'm using a really large fly. Um, so I'm turning away from the wind and casting towards the shore. And at the same time, that allows me to watch so that I'm not hooking up into the, there's a bunch of willows there on the shore. And so it kind of, lets me make sure that I am not going to hook up on that back cast because now it's my forward cast and I'm able to watch it the distance exactly. And then I'm just letting that cast go on the back, make a bit of a downstream mend to speed it up because it's a really slow current here. This pool is full of brook trout and I am just going through my flies here trying to figure out the one that's going to get them to take. The Suyak Lake has been incredible so far. The fish we've hooked have been beautiful and full of life, and we just can't get over the crystal clear waters of Northern Labrador. I've never seen brook trout this big in, on the island in Newfoundland. Um, and I know that there are, there's a healthy population of brook trout here in Labrador and they're, they're large like this, but I've never been able, I've never ever caught them. And it's just so nice to see. It's really, uh, it's amazing actually. And they're strong fighters. I wasn't expecting it, but they're, you know, it's kind of like, they don't run the same as a salmon does, but they, uh, They've got some energy in them. And you can tell like when they've got that kind of energy when you're fight when you're playing them that they are uh, really healthy fish and the cold water helps for that, helps with that. So it's good. I couldn't let Terry have all the fun, and now it was my turn to hook a fish. Terry had crossed the river, so our producer Olivia stepped in to help me release it. She was a natural. Ooh, it is a nice one. I didn't think it was. Come on. Yay! So 
Thank you. Well, that's a nice one. Beautiful. Good job. It's a brook trout and I got him on a dry fly. A bumblebee. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. The colors are just uh, fantastic. Look at all the, the spots on her side. Okay, well, let's get going. Look at the colors, oh my God. That is amazing. That's the second time now. So they're just sitting in your current and recover. The water is uh, really nice and cold right now. So it's, I'd say it's only maybe eight degrees. My net's She's like, I'll just go hide behind this rock. You can barely pick them out in the water, like it's so clear here. Like no wonder we can't see, like she's, she's still right there, like three feet away, four feet away. We seem to think that the fish feel like they're so much calmer when, when you get them up here, when you're not around a whole bunch of people and they're not, like the fish, um, they probably haven't been caught before. And when you play them properly and just kind of, you know, get them in fairly quick, they don't, they don't get as stressed and they seem to be much more relaxed when you get them to the net and then release them again. They're chill fish. For more information on fly fishing in Newfoundland and Labrador, visit tightloopstightlines.com. Fishing at Tasuyak Lake has been such a privilege today. We're running out of time before we fly back south with Jim, but hopefully we can find a few more fish before we go. And of course, Terry comes through. I am super skilled with this net. Good job. Wow. Oh, you're back on the wet fly again. Yeah. Alley shrimp. He chased it like crazy. I could watch him come across. Absolutely gorgeous. This water is so cold, they swim across the way so easy. That was, that was so cool. Terry has another fish on, but he's got to make his way up through some deep water in order to release it. Woohoo! <laughs> oh Jesus, he's gone. It's going to be an episode of... Um... Woohoo! What's the... <laughs> Is the fish gone? That's what... That's what clear water does to you. <laughs> That's crazy, it does not look deep at all. Hoo-hoo, I'm wet. I believe you are. I lost the, a bomber, and this thing came up and grabbed it. So I put on a bomber and threw out, and I could see him. He was by me.
Now you gotta go down below me there. Just below the rock. Okay, you ready? I, I don't know if I'm ever ready when I net fish. He's strong fish. Come in, he's out in that current. <laughs> oh, nice fish. Ooh, what a nice fish. I can't believe you got that on a bomber. <laughs> How lucky was that? I was changing fly and a bomber fell out of my fly box and that thing came up and grabbed it. It's beautiful. And it's I golden changed and, and put on a bomber and I could watch and swim right up and grab it again. Wow. It was so funny. What a beautiful fish. Yeah. Worth going in for. Worth going over the waders. <laughs> That's the first time I've ever seen you do that. You've been in deep water an awful lot. It's a big brookie. Look wow. at that. Okay, you do the honors. Okay. What a nice brookie. Good. Oh yeah, she's going. Oh, she's just sitting there. That's awesome. <laughs> wow, that was awesome. Good job, Terry. Okay. Leave me hanging. <laughs> but yeah, it took I a can't bomber. Believe the bomber. Oh, good. This is an amazing spot. Jim, thank you for taking us here. Yeah, it's good that we're here. It's great that we're here, we're all, yeah. It's awesome. Great memories, right? Yeah. This is beautiful. As we walk back to the plane, it's still hard to believe we are here. Two hours was definitely not enough time. To Suiak Lake and flying over Labrador's Torn Gap Mountains was an amazing experience. This day was incredible. Wouldn't be surprised if we were only three to fish there this year. And I've been in Labrador all summer. I don't know if anyone else has been there. It was an incredible trip. Yes, thank you for making that. I enjoyed it just as much as you.